This year has been a very interesting year to say the least anyway, but it doesn't mean we can't take away some positives about this year. I hope you guys can take away some positives anyway, because I've been able to. But anyway, I just finished doing my morning cardio and abs. I'm about to pop to the shop. Then I'll tell you guys some of the goals I set myself personally going forward in 2021. Hope you guys set yourself some goals because we need to absolutely crush 2021. I normally do tend to walk to the shop just due to the fact that it helps burn in more calories and I guess my daily step count up. But because I've done my morning cardio, which I'm going to be doing a lot more in January because I'm doing like a bit of a mini cut. To. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just dry over today because it's a little more convenient. But anyways, let's head up to the shop and I'll show you guys some of the things I'll be picking. I'll tell you guys what, it's most definitely weird spending this New Year's Eve in a lockdown. Because typically, we'll be getting ready to either go out with my girlfriend or my friends. Obviously tearing up a little bit, drinking some alcohol. Going out for a dance because we all love dancing. And that's where you all go to kind of dance a party together. But yeah, this is going to be a very interesting New Year's Eve. Kind of just kicking back, relaxing, staying in. Obviously because of the whole social distancing. But 2020, man, what a year. It's been a year of reflecting and for me anyway, it's been a year of growing because I've come out of this lockdown, the whole lockdown situation, a better person because like I've grown, I've developed and if it wasn't just lockdown, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do some of the things I've done in terms of like actually developing my business a lot more, uh, studying more because just due to work. So talking about staying indoors, it looks like everyone's getting lit. This car park's all busy. But yeah, my littles now. I'm gonna pop in, pick some stuff up, and I'll show you guys what I get. So here's what I end up making. I'm making like a bit of a casserole. So we got like obviously turkey mince underneath there. And that's a bunch of vegetables and peas. So yeah, this is going to be some of my meal prep meals I'm going to be having during the week. Because I'm trying to get back on my diet and be really disciplined again. Because obviously Christmas went and obviously was a little bit relaxed with the diet. So time to get back focused, getting back doing my cardio and getting back on those good habits. <sighs> okay guys, so 2021 goal set. And I really hope you guys have set yourselves some goals going forward in 2021 that you want to achieve. It's really important to make sure you have some short term goals and of course long term goals. Especially when you're trying to achieve a really massive long term goal, it's great to have little miniature wins on the way to achieving our long term goals. So I'm going to share some of my goals with you guys. I think it'd be really cool to come back in a year's time and see that I actually managed to achieve my goal. And this kind of helps keep me accountable on the quest to achieving my goals. These aren't all my goals, but I'm going to share some of the things I want to achieve in 2021 with you guys. Okay, so the first goal I want to share with you guys is quite business related because I'm a personal trainer and online coach and I'm heading into my fifth year of doing personal training one, on a one-to-one -one basis but during the pandemic it kind of forced me to kind of have to adapt how I would actually coach people and how I was actually getting clients because obviously gyms are closed but people were still in need of actually being healthy, getting fitter, fitter seeing results so this led to me picking up a lot of online clients and doing lockdown there was something I really enjoyed doing so I, going forward I really want to do a lot more of it and in terms of scalability being an online coach does allow you to help a lot more people and the goal for me has always been about how many people can I help. I want to help as many people as I can. So typically, let's say I have 20 clients and each client trains about twice per week. What? That equates to about 40 hours per week you do in there and you're only able to help 20 people in a week. But let's look, let's look at it from online coaching. With online coaching, I could easily help 20 people per week and it won't even take up as much time for me. So looking at it from a scalability factor and the goal of mine is to help as many people as I possibly we can in terms of helping people online coaching allows me to help way more people so for me it's all about venturing more into it and seeing how can I grow the online coaching business because I've been really blessed and I've been able to grow my personal training business pretty quickly to be fair but for me the next venture is trying to go more into online coaching and be kind of interesting coming back in a year's time and seeing if I actually managed to achieve some of the goals I set myself when it comes to online coaching so the goal I set myself this year is I want to get down to around 21 to 24 hours and make up the rest of my income through online coaching clients which I think would be pretty awesome because I really do enjoy online coaching but I do really love one-to-one -one coaching as well just because of the interaction and the people itself. The next goal I want to share with you guys is to do social media and YouTube in particular. So I really want to improve my YouTube content, my YouTube camera present, my YouTube editing, everything I do with YouTube. I do really want to try and push a little bit higher with the content and just be more consistent overall during this whole year. I think it'd be really cool to watch this all grow and just actually get better at producing content because you know I didn't realize there's such a community behind YouTube fitness and just YouTube in general because so many of you guys are so supportive in the comment section always watching liking the videos and it's pretty cool so I really want to continue to keep growing the community and watching this whole thing grow and just seeing 
where it takes us. And the same goes to Instagram as well. I really want to bring better content on Instagram because believe it or not guys, for you personal trainers out there, you're going to get a lot of clients from Instagram if your content is actually really good. I'm not talking about just the topless selfies because no one really cares about that kind of stuff. Believe it or not, people who actually will invest in you, they want to see either results or they want to see quality content in terms of being educational and that's where you actually get a client. So for me, I want to try and improve providing more educational content and just good content overall. And the final goal that I set myself is I'm going to be putting myself through a photo shoot prep. I think I start in around March. Don't quote me, I can't remember exactly when I do start, but I think I start around that time anyway. And I think it'd be kind of cool to document it all and make a bit of a series. In which I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing to get myself in shape. It's actually required to drop in body fat, gain your abs showing, step in body fat, all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be kind of just a cool content series in general. But yeah, that's some of the goals I set myself for 2021. And guys, we got to make 2021 a big year, especially after everything we all went through in 2020. Let's go hard with this year, guys. Never give up mindset, stay focused, and absolutely crush our goals. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.